Today we will create a uh, alarm clock app. I already created the app and let's see how it's working Af and after that we can create our own uh, own alarm clock. Let's see how it's working firstly. For example, you, sh you need to type uh, choose here the time and then set alarm. Like now time is 10.31 so let's choose 10.32 and then say set alarm and uh, 58, 59 and 10.32 right? As you hear now our alarm app is working and let's see how we can create our own project and first let's create for our project and say new and then project and you can name it whatever you want but I will leave it like that okay so firstly what I need I need here labels right label here and uh, let's change it say time let's even change font size and the font style I think this one is okay and also create strings for, for our this is our and the minute um, actually let's do it like this one and then copy and paste and three we need three labels here here and other one is here I think this one is okay and also create double dots like that let's put it here and other one is here put it here and then let's change this also now it's okay I think and also let's also change our font uh, for a form uh, back color something like that is okay yes and also I need uh, comma boxes here so this is for hour and other one is for the minute okay and let's copy this one and say hour and um, minute okay this one is minute and what I need is and also I need button is like for set alarm button set alarm and what I need I need also a timer here so let's find our timer and also Windows media player where is Windows media player I don't have it so how can I add Windows media player it's also easy just right click here and say choose items and uh, choose com components and here and windows media player you will see it, it must be checked here okay selected and then media player I have it okay and I am adding it's here and let's make the form a little bit bigger and then like that I think it's okay but I will make the visible false because I don't want to see Windows Media Player. So what I will say, I will go to here under behavior. I will say the visible is false, okay? And then I will make it like that. I think this one is okay. And let's go to our code area and let's see how we can what we can do. Firstly, make it bigger. And first, I need variables here, and I will create integer hour minute and the second okay and also string variable string alarm hour and alarm minute okay and uh, what is next also let's add our uh, values to our combo box how we can do that 
we can use for loop, for loop for that actually this is easier way and let's create integer i equals zero integer i for our i need 24 right and then semicolon i plus plus and what i will say here i will say combo box one dot items is like list box and add what i will add i will add i okay this is for first one let's see how it is working as you see here i have uh, all my values here okay for other one i will say for integer j equals zero and then j less than 60 because 60 minutes and the j plus plus and then what i will say curly brackets combo box two dot items dot add what i will add j right that's also okay and see how it's working again this one is okay and this one is also okay until 60 that's all it's okay and let's go to the back code area so also i need my timer right so click uh, on design area and for timer it will create our timer function and what i will say i will say firstly i want to hear also the form when you initialize form i want to uh, string cut this one i want to make them global actually is here right so it will be global okay when i want uh, form is loading i want to also say timer one dot start okay when initialize the form this one is okay and the, in the timer function what i will say i will say uh, this use our variables and uh, and also uh, date time function what i will say i will say second is equals date time date time date time dot now and which one i will use i will use second right so second and minute is equals day day time dot now dot minute okay and the uh, hour i will say is equals day time dot now dot hour that's all and now i need to assign the values here these labels right make it bigger actually first here this one is going to hour and minute and the second and label two three and the four so what i will say i will say label two the text value is equals hour dot two string why i'm using two string because hour is now it is integer value so i need to if i want to assign the text a uh, grab text value and assign value to text uh, label uh, i need to uh, convert it to string right so label three is e, uh, dot text is equals minute dot two string this is also okay label four dot text value is equals second dot two string this is also okay and uh, <coughs> let's see how it's working actually as you see now i create my time and it's working and uh, also i need to create for uh, for my button the functions for my button so let's go to the again design area and the click double click button and it will create our function for our button so i will use now string alarm hour and alarm minutes what i will say we say alarm hour alarm hour is equals comma box one dot text value okay alert minute that is equals comma box two that 
text value that's all this is also okay and uh, for this next when I when I set my time for the alarm like that okay for example 11 10 so uh, I want to open my media player and I want to play sound and so what I will say also I, I need to go to the create function my function for my uh, media player what can I do I can create here a function to do that okay and I will say void ring ring alarm okay this one is better way and also will create a function so what I will say I will say a x minus media player dot URL and it's equals string value so open double quotes what I need to do I need to go to do find my file first so I will go to the alarm sound is here and right click properties and then get the location okay like that and the copy go back again so what you need to say type your location here and then also another one like this one and I will say alarm sound dot mp3 okay because I didn't get all full uh, location as you see here uh, sorry not this one as you see here when I get the properties it doesn't give me the name of my uh, file so I need to use my name of my file also let's go back and uh, open this one and I also I need to if I uh, as you see here I need to use here double slashes because it makes problem for me and let's here also double slash other one is also double slash and this one is also double slash sorry and what is next I also created my function right here I will say if and I need to assign the value like the this one comma box one value and comma box value must equals to time right so what I will say I will say uh, my alarm hour is equals equals it will it must be equals to uh, hour that one so you can type like label two dot text or you can say hour to string so doesn't matter you can use our to string okay and also and and alarm minute is equals equals minute that to string and the last one and one also you need to say here for the second second for the second let's type just because we not use second so we just you can say equals equals zero okay and then I will open my curly brackets here if this one and uh, I need to make this one so let's copy this one and paste it here What is wrong with second? Uh, sorry, second also must be two string, right? Two string. Even let's see it them like that. Okay, second two string must be like that. Okay, let's hit the start and see how it is working. What it said? It says forty three. Is there is something wrong? What is wrong is here. Forty three. URL. There any problem and another slash here so I put zero so here now it's okay let's see and now it's time is 10 uh, fort, uh, 46 so I will say set it my alarm 10 47 okay for 
47 and I will say set alarm as you see I don't see Windows Media Player because I made it visible is false now wait a little bit and then we will see how it's working or not yes 50 51 52 53 55 56 57 8 9 and 10 didn't work something wrong let me check I said set alarm for uh, sorry I I made this wrong sorry sorry it must be 8 right so let's wait I said the alarm is wrongly so now we need to wait a little bit again Forty-five, forty-nine, and fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, five, eight, nine, and again something wrong. Let me check it. What is wrong? Let me see. Ah, sorry, I used this function, but I never use it, right? So that's the problem. And I type. I need to type it here ring alarm function is here right must be here and uh, let's hit the start button again and see is now it will work 10 49 all right 49 and say set alarm I didn't use my function here as you see ring alarm is his okay but I need to type here under the timer then it will work now let me check it and see how it's working 52 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 as you see it is working see you in the next